and welcome to Molly's Motif. This is Emily and today I'm going to be showing you the card that I have put together for the Cut It Up Challenge that starts today and it is the theme is green so it can be St. Patrick's Day, it could be spring, we just want to see lots of green in your projects and so my card it's it's kind of a St. Patrick's Day card but more um, specifically it's a good luck card so I will show you what I'm going to be doing there. I am going to be following the sketch from Mojo Monday that they issued for the week and I think this is a really fun sketch. So I'll be doing that and then I'm also going to be entering this card over at Pause Dream Enjoy. The challenge is just to follow any sketch and so that this will work great for over there. And the cartridge I'm going to be using, I'm only using one Cricut car cut um, today and it's from designers calendar and I do love this cartridge I've never made a calendar but I just love all of the images that come on this cartridge just for all of the different seasons and holidays and just some great basic um, images and shapes for on this cartridge so on page 30 there's the shamrock for the month month of March and there's lots of different features on this cartridge you've got different script um, or fonts I should say um, for the different months and the different holidays so it even has Groundhog's Day here and a little groundhog that you can cut out um, fun kites for spring but I'm yep, definitely going to be using that shamrock so here it is and I cut it at one and a half inches and if you can see it I flipped it so I just I cut it on flip because I wanted the stem to go the opposite way of what it's originally cut so that is my that's the only cut that I'm using my Cricut cut um, for this card and my paper go through my designer paper here um, I picked this pack up at Hobby Lobby it's from We Are Memory Keepers it's called Anthology and I just think this is a really fun paper pack it's got a lot of let's see if I can do this antique looking papers lots of distressed look to it some great colors and there were a lot of green tones in this paper pack, so that's why I chose this, but super fun paper pack that I picked up. And then my it's just going to be a standard A2. My base card is just kind of this olive green, and it does have some texture to it. I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but it does have some fun texture to it. And this is the same paper that I cut my little shamrock out of, so there is already some texture on my... Um, on my cut. I was going to see if I needed to emboss it, but I didn't need to because it does have some texture. So here's my card, and then I have just a kind of a taupe mat, just a beige mat, and I've gone ahead and embossed that with the quarter foil embossing folder from the Paper Studio from Hobby Lobby. So this is a really fun embossing folder if you can see that. So I've embossed that mat. And then the first, just following that sketch, I just have a piece of that pattern paper from the pack. And it just has some writing on it. And I really like um, some of the words that are highlighted in here. And I think it works really well for this card. But, you know, there's like Reach for the Stars and Dreamer and Amazing and Believe. So I just, I really like the words that are found in that column there. And then I've got another piece of that pattern paper from that stack. And it's just going to be centered in the middle here. And I have inked all of my edges of my pattern paper with Colorbox chalk ink. And I just used the top one, which is creamy brown. And so that's what I've done my inking with. And then on the, this mat and the next two mats, I rounded the corners just with my small corner rounder from Hobby Lobby. And this is the second one I've had from Hobby Lobby. Um, I don't know. They just, they don't work like I want them to. <laughs> they, they sometimes give me problems. But again, if you pay four bucks for something, then <laughs> kind of you get what you pay for sometimes. Um, but it, it does work. It just doesn't work as well as I would like. So the next mat that I'm going to put down is just another square mat and I'll get the dimensions of course and get them up on the video and then I have another mat another square mat there 
I'm going to do that. And then here's my sentiment. And I just freehanded this little banner, notched the edges, and I'm going to tuck that under there. So it's going to go something like this. And my sentiment, it comes from the Paper Company stamp set. Um, I'm trying to read I wrote on the back here. And it's called Greetings. That's what the name of the stamp set is from the Paper Company um, or TPC Studios. And this is just a really great general sentiment stamp set. I really like this one. So here's the good luck that I'm using. And I stamped it with my favorite color box, Chestnut Pigment Ink. And it's just going to be tucked under that first mat. And then here is my little shamrock. And it is just going to go like this. So super easy card to put together. Super fun. I love just using, letting paper work for you with your cards and you know it's always fun to put the cute little images and I love doing that but I also love making cards that just really focus on the papers and you know very simple and and clean but just to showcase those papers so this is the card that this is how it's turning out so I'll go ahead and get this put together I'll get everything adhered I'll probably pop up my shamrock on some foam tape um, and then I'll work on the inside, get that all finished up, and I'll come back and show you how it turned out. Okay, so I've got everything put together, and I just tacked everything down with my ATG, except for the little shamrock that is on one thickness of foam tape, so um, there's a little bit of dimension there. And the inside of the card I kept pretty simple. Um, I just took another piece of that polka dot pattern paper to make a mat, and then just cut another piece of the the tan paper that I embossed on the front. I didn't emboss it, just kept it smooth so you can write a sentiment. Um, and then stamped I Believe in You on there. And then I did cut another shamrock from Designer's Calendar. This time I just cut it on the regular cut, not on flip, because I wanted the stem to be this way this time. And then my sentiment that I Believe in You, that actually comes from this big stamps set that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, it just has a bunch of different words, um, just a lot of different general words that you can mix and match and put together to create your own sentiment. And it's got, I mean, just every general um, word that you can think of to put in sentences. And so um, basically what you do is just put it on your acrylic block and you just you know, you can space it however you want, put it as close together, you can arrange it however you want. Um, but yeah, they're just individual pieces. Like here's the eye. So some of them are pretty teeny to work with, but um, I do like the versatility that the stamp set gives you to be able to create whatever sentiment or phrase or sentence that you want. Um, and so I just put I believe in you together. I think that's a good little sentiment for a good luck card. Um, but yeah, just a really simple inside and I think it just looks really good with the front. So this is the card that my completed card that I am showing for the challenge that's starting over at Cut It Up and I'll be linking it up to a, a few other challenges as well. But I hope that you are able to join us for that challenge that starts today. It runs for a week and a half and um, we've got some awesome sponsors over there. So head on over there and take a look at what's up for grabs um, if you link your projects up. And I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. I'd appreciate any comments or feedback that you'd have for me. You can always check out my blog. It's mollymugsblog.blogspot.com. And we will catch you next time.